Welcome back to Lowestone Athletics. It's Mario, your trainer, and in today's video, I'm gonna be giving you three stretches that you can do to improve your shoulder retraction. Shoulder retraction is very important for numerous exercises, for as an overhead press and even your bench press. If you do not have proper shoulder retraction, you're gonna to have too much shoulder involvement in the movement that you're doing, and in the worst case scenario, your shoulder might fall off. No, but in all honesty, you could suffer some injuries to your shoulder that could put you out the game for a while, and we don't want that. We want to be able to be as consistent as possible when we're doing our workout routine. So, starting with number one, it's going to be a banded shoulder rotation, all right? You want to grab your band that's not too strong, but it has some type of resistance that it can help pull your hands together when you go in the back. So, hold it out front, pull the band apart, keep your arms straight, Elbows locked, come all the way back behind you. I want you to release your tension on the band and let the band pull your hands inward, but keep your arms straight. And you will feel that stretch all across your chest. All right, this is a, this is a very good chest opener. One more time, band out in front, pull it apart. Let's go behind, hold it there, let the band pull you. And I want you to hold this position for 20 seconds. Now, holding it is good for once you finish your workout, but if you're gonna use this as a warm up before your workout, then it will be best to perform it in repetitions. All right, cool. Now, we got double out the way, let's move on to number two. Number two is the cow face pose. I don't know why they call it that, but that's what it is, look it up. So what you're gonna do here, take a band as well, you're gonna put a hand, Behind your back, bend that elbow, get that shoulder back, get that hand in the middle of your back as close as possible, all right? Take your other hand, go reach over your head, try to get that hand as close to your other hand as possible. If you cannot reach, that is fine. That's what a band, or you can grab a towel, whatever you need, grab them, and hold your hands in that position. And you're gonna hold it. Make sure your elbow is completely pointed straight in the air, and make sure your other elbow is pointed straight down at the ground. Hold that position, 20 seconds. All right, once you finish that, of course, same thing. Other hand, middle of your back. Other one, up top, elbow pointed towards the ceiling. Grab that band in the back. Get tight, keep your chest up. Hold that position, 20 seconds. All right, now, moving on to the next exercise, we're gonna go over here to the wall. All right, this next move is called scapular wall slides. All right, so what you're gonna do, put your feet together, heels against the wall. Make sure your lower back is flush against the wall. You want your abdomen crunched downward, all right? Head back, look down, chin down. Form an L with both arms. Again, your back is as flat as possible, your chin is down, the chest is up. Try to place your forearms against the wall, keep that position, stretch your arms straight up, bring them back down. Let's do it again now. If your forearms cannot flush completely against the wall, that's all right, just try to fight it to keep it into that position all the way throughout the movement. But again, you're here, you're going to reach up, you're going to come back down, all right? If you perform these three movements, you will start to see some improvement in your shoulder retraction. Hope you learned something. Stand out. Be different.